Emily Herbert from CapturingPassion.com and today we're going to have a quick look at some of the features of the touch bar on the new 15 inch MacBook Pro in the Photos app. Now before we go in, I just want to discuss a little bit about the touch bar. When I got this, I was not sold on the touch bar. I thought it was going to be mostly gimmicky and there have been a few things that I've kind of gone, oh, that's not really all that useful. I'll get into that in another episode. But in this episode, I want to go through some of the things that I found are really useful, particularly in the Photos app and just in general use. So if you haven't used the touch bar before, this is it here at the top of your keyboard. And before we go into Photos even, I'm just going to show you some really cool ones, just the basic ones. You can adjust the brightness and the volume, but it's really easy to just tap and hold and then adjust up and down like that, which is pretty cool. And let's go into Photos and let me show you what some of the Photos things are. So you'll notice right away when I go into photos that it's dynamic. So the touch bar changes depending on what you're doing in the app. So for example, at the moment I'm here on a particular photo and I can just flick through my photos, you know, the old way with the keys, but then I can also just tap and hold and slide through my photos like this. I don't know how useful it is to have the preview. I think it's sort of more visual, but you're not actually going to be able to see what photo is down there because it's really, really small. Um, maybe if you were looking for like a night scene so you know that it's dark and light, you can kind of go through that. Yeah, fair enough, but yeah. Funnily enough, I found the heart button to be a lot more useful than I thought it was going to be because generally if I need to heart a photo, have a look. So I've got to use my hand on the trackpad to go all the way up to the top of the screen, find the heart button, which is really small, and then heart something. Whereas now I can just go, yep, heart it, and it's hearted, which is pretty cool and easy to do. Next button along is the rotate, so you can rotate nice and easily. Now I'm not actually going to give Apple credit for that because you used to be able to rotate your photos on the trackpad just by using your fingers like that. So they've kind of taken a feature out and then added it to the touch bar, but it's back, so yay, I'm happy. Where I think photos really shines is when you get into the editing functions, so or as Photos I think calls it, adjustments. So if I just tap on the adjustment button, there well, you can see I can go back to navigate, I've got crop, filters, adjust and retouch. Uh, navigate obviously takes you back, but first of all let's have a look at crop. So if I tap on crop, some of the features you've got, so you can just take you back to your navigation. First of all you can again rotate, just like you could before. You can say auto, where it'll auto try and guess, but I'm not a fan of auto. Then you can just slide your finger along like this to readjust and change the rotation of your image. And something that, you know, it's funny, I, I've never really th sort of thought about it, but it's really kind of nifty. If I tap on this button, it gives me all the different compositions. I think that's the right word. No, probably not. All the aspects. There we go. It's on the screen. And I can then just slide my finger along and see what all of those aspects are going to look like on the photo which I think is pretty cool and pretty useful. Now, going back to my adjustments, you've then got filters, obviously you can tap on filters, I'm not going to show you that, but if I go into the actual adjustments, this is something really fun. So I can just tap on light and adjust the light on my image, then tap on color, adjust the level of color in my image, tap on black and white, obviously it makes it black and white, and then adjust the contrast in the image. You don't have to sway like I do, but I find it helps. And you can then turn those features on and off just by tapping on those little tick boxes. You've also got a before and after, so let me make those adjustments. I can just see original, new, original, new, original, new. Pretty cool, right? And then finally, you've got the retouch tool. So you can change the size of the retouch window. Not that big a deal, but you know, it's, again, it saves you a little bit of time and it's less finicky than trying to use the keyboard we're trying to use the trackpad on these things. So let's go ahead and retouch this little bit of text out. We'll make that a little bit smaller. And hey presto. And that's a quick look at some of the functions that you get with the touch bar in the Photos app on macOS. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you'd like to see anything in particular, let us know and we'll do something on that. Catch you later.